Well, everybody, it is I, it's Horton. How are you? Good to see you. Very good, very fantastic. Um, I'm calling an audible, and that's a term that's often used in football, uh, where they have a play all figured out, and then they get to the line, and the quarterback goes, mm, I don't like what I see defensively, so I'm going to try something different. And not that I see something defensively. I, uh, I, I just thought I got Brian here. There's Brian. And uh, Hello. Yes. So we're going to work out. The other day I did a live workout, everybody seemed to like that, and uh, this is a change of pace. Um, and what I was going to do, I'll do next week, all right? So uh, today is a day where we're going to try to hit our chest, our, our back, our shoulders, our biceps, and our triceps. Wow. And we might even throw some abs in at the end. Love it. All right? And so it's going to go like this, like it's old school. Like I'm in the gym, I'm going to do a set, Brian's going to yell at me and scream at me or not, or just to, uh, just to prove what I'm doing, and then he is going to do it. So here's our first two moves. First one's on the pull-up bar. You see the pull-up bar over there? Let me get that in frame. There she blows. All right? And then I got the tonal going, and I'm going to do some low to high flies, which is really going to work the upper pecs. So, uh, so are we're you ready? starting with a back here and a, and, a, and, a, and a chest. Back and a chest. Okay. All right. Now we've already stretched out, so we're we're feeling pretty good. A couple of these, some navy beam, whatever you're doing. All right. So, uh, you want, I'll go first. Go for it. All right. Now you're gonna have to look at my back here because I have the, the bar, so I don't hit my head. So uh, regular, regular, right to here pull-ups. Good old-fashioned pull-ups. All right, Brian. So what we like to do. And this is going to be very helpful for many of you is I'm going to set my number before I go. I'm going to look at my head. I'm going to go, hey, head, what do you got? Uh, and I'm going to do uh, 30. No. <laughs> I'm going to do 30. Maybe in, maybe in, in total. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do um, 14. Great. That's Wait, a big what's number. number going I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do 10. 10. 14's, 14's a big 14's number. 14's a lot, but it's only three sets of them. All, All right, right, everybody. Here we go. Here I go. Three, two, one, and... There it is. That's four. Arms straight at the bottom. See how his arms get straight at the bottom? That's what I struggle with. My arms never never go fully straight. Looking good. And these are tough too because you got to keep your knees bent. Yeah. Like a lot of people at home. Yeah. If you're doing this at home, yeah, you're used to that. Oh, you buddy right. boy. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how Brian's doing here. Hey. Can I do it this way? Yeah, but just watch out because the, the bar is closer to this side of the room. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll see. Uh, see what happens. All right. Yeah, if you're go. bloody at the end, you know you picked a, made, a, made a bad choice. Three, come a little bit lower. Four. Oh, yeah, five. How's he doing? Doing okay. Nice, dude. Keep it coming. I'm doing 12. Ah, ha-ha! The challenge is on! <laughs> I want to do that and have that little thumb go up. Okay, so I'm over to the tonal now. You can see where the arms are. Um, I feel like the price is right on. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to start here and push up. All right, here we go. Throw the weight off. Now, I don't do this exercise much, so I'm guessing on the, on the, on the weight here. Somewhere between 8 and 12. If I get to 12 and I can do more, I'll do them. Do it. Right, here we go. The idea is here is the arms are mostly straight. Well, I'm bending and then almost straight here at the top. Okay, so a little bend at the, on little the back. Bend. So I feel a lot of this in the front of my shoulders. Yeah. Upper chest because I'm pushing up. Oh, yeah. This works my traps a little bit too. And you want to like make sure you keep your traps down, right? Not no shrugging. Yeah, no shrugging. What number am I on back there? Uh, seven. That's eight. That's it. Is that a good weight? It's a good weight. I'll do two more, but it's going to suck. But I love this move. Oh, you buy. Okay, 12 of these. Two down. Two down. All right, so you were like this, yeah? Yeah, nice dance there. Let me see you. Good. Jeez, your muscles. I'm gonna step a little forward so I don't bottom out. Yeah, so people can see you. There you go, how's that weight for you? Good. That's a weak spot. See, this is hitting here, everybody. So you're getting a live Tony Horton training friend tutorial fitness moment, all right? Nice, man, good. That's eight, by the way. Makes the veins pop. I know it. We got a little mirror here so we get to look at 
ourselves over there, over there, and over there. That's 12. You want to do more than that? Nope. Ah. 12's good. All right. 12's good. So one of each. Shake that out, and we're going to repeat those two. And so you typically need, this is hypertrophy, you know, resistance stuff. We'll do body weight stuff here as well. But when there's only two of us, that's where we get our break. Like right now, the fact that I'm talking and extending the break, no, I better shut up. <laughs> All right, here I go. Here comes my 14 again. And so for anybody when you've got a series of reps you want to do and you set a number, like for me, I'll count up to four and then in my mind, I'll count down from 10. Mm. And I visualize the numbers going down in space in front of me. It's just, it helps distract me and helps me get through it. Here comes the first four. One, two, two three, four. Now it's just a countdown. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Very good. Three. There's a nice hang. A little hang. Hang time. Two in. Just like that. Great. What I do, I break it into groups. I'm going to do four group, three groups of four pull-ups. Turn the camera, Brian, for you. I'm even going to do this, bro. Ready? Uh oh. Oh! I almost Good lost. Good saves. It's got some bad tape on here. Oh, there we go. Here dude. we go. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Got to make that tighter. You must be fat. I might. I must be. Well, I've gained a little weight. Well, this is fun. This is fun. See how so this goes. This is how you install a pull-up bar. Nice. Cool. Yeah, that way. Oh, there we go. Make fun. sure you always check your equipment. <laughs> Look at the smiley faces. Are people smiling? Oh, waving. It's fun. Good. Go, go tight, as tight as you can. Do these go? Yeah, you gotta maybe turn it a half, a quarter inch and they'll go in. There you go. Okay. All right. Do I this get is the, for those two? So no kipping. No kipping. You might have kipped and yanked. Yeah, kipped. Yeah, all right, here we go. Here we go. See what happens this time. One, two, three, four. Is it 12 still? Yep. Good. Nice. Good job. One, two, three and four. Three, four. Lovely. Whew. Very good. That last 12 is going to be rough. No, I know. It's the whole point, though. Let's see if my tape's on good. I, I have the worst tape here. So we're trying to get as much of the room in as possible. Brian's going to use his expertise. So here we go. I got my, my flies. Second batch. Four will be done. 18, three, two, one. Uh, you can turn it toward me just a hair more. For now, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. That's three. What are we working here? The front of the delt, chest, upper chest, and traps a little bit. Rhomboids, maybe. Six, even though it's a push. These are bent. What's that, nine? Eight. Eight. That's too bad. <laughs> 10, 11, 12. Nice. That's 11. And 12. Yeah. Yeah, baby. How are we all doing out there so far? Some fresh content? All right. How's that weight feel? Good? Is it the same weight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we going by forward? Waving. Switching my feet. Nice. Yeah, good. Smart. So, Brian, last time he had his left foot forward, he switched over to his right foot. Form is good. You can see his body here. The only thing that's moving is his arms, right? There's his little face. Look. Hey. Little face right here. There's his little head. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Slightly bent arms and then almost straight. And then pushing that weight right up to about chin, face, chin, mouth, nose, height. How many is that? That's 10, 11, and 12. 
So, you know, a lot of my programs, everywhere we have chest and back and shoulders and arms, and it's sort of a theme. Sometimes we have uh, legs and back. And if, you know, if there's ever a day where you feel like, oh, I missed a few days and I feel caught up and I missed my chest and back day, I missed my shoulders and arms day, then it's okay to take your 20, 18, 20, 24, 32 sets, whatever it is, and just do, do it all. So we each have one more back, one more chest, and then we're gonna go to bicep, tricep. Ooh. And then we're gonna go back and forth with that. And then, that's six and six, that's 12, we're halfway at that point. Yeah. This workout's almost over! Almost done. So here we go, here are my... We showed up for it. Five pull-ups, 14 again. Let's see. I'm so glad you didn't come crashing to the floor. Me Imagine too. if we were doing levers and that happened. <laughs> Ouch. It would have been a so, viral video, that would have been a viral video. So what you're seeing here, everybody, is this is how, this is how we train. Right, we, I've kept this relatively secret, not on purpose, but this is us hanging out. Usually we have music cranking, but I'm sure Instagram wouldn't like all the Zeppelin and Police and Beatles going out in the world. Not always those three, but you know what I mean? I don't want to be a music pirate. -er. That's right. So other than, this is it, other than the cranking music. So here comes my four and 10, three, two, one. There we go. One, two, let's give him some help. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. He's getting that chin over that bar. Three, two, one. Every single time. Three. Good hang, I like that stretch. Two. Another nice stretch. And one. Garrett says, get it, Tony. Garrett! How are you, my brother? It's good to see you, man. I felt all 14 of those. Yeah, I should never get this close. Not a good look for me. Better back here. All right. All right. Things are happening though. Good doish. There you go. Any more waving? Let's see some comments here. Happy faces. You got this, it says. Waving, doink. Um, I should get my glasses. Hey Mark, what's up? Tony Kern. You should come by on a Wednesday, Playa. Tony Kern's never coming by on a Wednesday, Playa. It's never going to happen. By the way, Tony Kern, what's the TV series he just got? Outlander. Outlander. Outlander, like a five-year contract. I think for that's our knowledge, right? I think it is now. Or it is now because I just said something. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. Mr. Kern. All right. All right, so one more of these. Upward chest fly jobbies. Okay. Twelve of these are going to be kind of hideous. But here it goes. And by the way, who was out shoveling snow earlier? Not me. It was me. And by the way, it was minus two. And I was shoveling snow on the deck. Because it's more snow's coming. And if you don't shovel the five or six inches that are there now, there'll be 15 later. There's more snow to shovel. It's a good warm-up too. Yeah. Right? God, look at your new hat. It's fantastic. Very new hat. Promoting Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain hardware. Here we go. And here we go. So it's weird with this right leg in front. Yeah. I'm doing it. A little squeeze at the top. I think that's nine. Hit number, that was eight. I'm gonna give them a profile of this. So they can see how your elbows go back. Arms are bent, arms are straight. What number is this? Bro? That is 12. So you get a bonus one. Oh, not intentional. Put you there we go. All right, dude. Okay. You are up. Right. You are up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a. You try 20. I'm gonna do a. Oh! You try one more. Finish, finish strong. I'm gonna give you a Scorsese here. Okay. All right. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah. Here we go. Nice, dude. That's seven. You want to do a little hold at the top? Or? Yeah, a little squeeze. You squeeze like you're squeezing your pecs together. Look at that arm right there. Beautiful. Nice. 
And that was 12. There we go. All right, that was heavier. Wasn't it though? A little bit, a little bit. A little bit heavier. Okay. So we have our, our buys and our tries here. So we're going to go uh, tricep wise, which is good for the camera. I'm going to use this arm here. Like all the way to the top. Put a bang in here like this. There we go. Maybe higher, but that handle goes away. Put it over here. Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to go in the other room here. I got everything. Here, bring them in here so they can see the. Ooh. So when you, if you get a tunnel, you get one of these fancy shelves. And there's the bar, and there's the triceps here. Comes in and out, super simple. There, there it is. Hanging out in the hallway, wait a minute. Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, it is what it is. It's all right. It's all right. Off it goes, clickety-click. And then now, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna put this here. I think that'll work, we'll still be able to see us. We put the camera down. Maybe I'm going in this angle here like that. There we go. Yeah, that works. Uh, curl, curls wise, what do you think you're going to use, Brian? Uh, 30, 35? 30, I think, probably All is right. good. I think I'll live there too with you. Um, this bar we're not using, right? No, you can just put that away. Okay. All right, I'll do my curls. And you can follow me. Uh, there's the 30. There's. Can you all see me all right? There we go. On the edge. Let's see. So I'm gonna keep my palms forward the whole time. I'm not gonna supinate here. Lovely, you can turn it maybe a little bit. Beautiful. I don't know, eight, nine, 10, 12, we'll see. Little profile. Ten. Those are heavy, huh? They feel heavy. 30 Heavier seconds. than thirty. Ick. Thirty's bold. Yeah. Those are these are really nice weights though. Oh yeah, they're called new bells. New bells? They click and there's no pins. Yeah. And they they're just clean, they take up no room. They're nice. They're a little clunky. Yeah. Compared to a regular dumbbell? Well, you know, I have the Bowflex ones, and those are real clunky. Right, right, they're really long. These are much more sleek. These are much more compact, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. But for this kind of a weight, I mean, yeah. they're pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay. So no supination. Oh, boy, that's heavy. But look at these bars, it's fantastic. Those are incredible, look at those fantastic arms. I'm going to take the camera and go in there with a tie of clothes, look at you. The idea here is not to rock back and forth, right? Yep, I don't know if I did or not. Let me see, let's see this guy. Oh my goodness. I think that's five. That's Shoot, maybe six. We'll call it five. Oh, well, yeah. you can, you're strong, but you can't count, just like me. And there he is, going for it. What number is that? That was 10. Good, that's what I did. We'll call that 10. Ten's nice. Whew. So I'm just gonna move these out of my way. Doink, 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 doink. Over here. Tony Curran joined. Thanks, pal. Tony Curran? No. Hi, Tony. Curran? Good God, bro. Look at that. Oh, he's got a check mark next to his name. Tony, you hungry? Are you hungry? Want some food? I've known Tony Curran for a long time. I'm doing Irish, I believe. <laughs> He's Scottish, he's so Irish. To you. Right, I got me lucky charms, man. <laughs> Curran, we wish you were here. Get in an airplane, come join us and ski. There's a lot of snow coming. Get in your private jet. Yes, now that you got a big TV series, big shot guy. Can you imagine how big his ego will be soon? No. Oh my God. That's why he's not here, he couldn't fit in the room. That's true. <laughs> so these are little overhead throw jobbers. I'm gonna be here. And out I go. All right, there's a lot of lat here too. I'm gonna go a little heavier. 
I'm feeling good. Let's try that, everybody. Eight to 12 reps, somewhere in that range. Oh, hey, there you are. Okay, back leg is straight, front leg is bent. This is a little bit light, but I'm gonna start here. So you can see I'm, I'm letting the weight pull me back. I feel that stretch in my armpits and lats. And I'm opening out there, squeezing it out there, right in here, stopping, and drive it out. You can push out, you can push down, a lot of ways to do this. This is number 12. I'll go to 15 because it's light. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, since you're a tricep man. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, oh! You got that. You got that. I know you. All right. That'll be heavy for me, but I think you got that. Out here. Yeah. How is that weight? Fine. See? Yeah. Look at these things. Look at that thing in there. You got a tumor. It's not a tumor. Brian, you got a tumor in your tricep. Yeah, it's looking good. Form is good. It's getting, getting tight to this boy. Right to the camera. Good doosh. Good doosh. Yes. That's 12. You're strong, bro. Mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah, I knew that weight was... So that's probably the weight that I'll do next time. Yeah, I think so. And then you have to go up to 50, I think. What? All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, chest and back. Here we are, we're on um, our second bicep curl, and it will be through these first 12, the lickety split. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna just drag these a little out of your way. Seven. Oh, that stretch is good. Eight. Nine. Oh, you daddy -o. Oy, oy, oy. Woo! Okay. Is it getting warmer in here? A little bit. Let me turn the air down. Or cooler. Nice. Okay. All right. All right. Better. Tony's not here, so let's pretend I did five. Okay. Oh, six. Zero. Oh, seven. Oh. And three. Yeah. Damn. Right? You're still a youngster, though, man. Not a big deal for you. Six. Good. Seven. Nice and tall. Minimal kipping. I like it. Arms are straight at the bottom. Nice and tall, eyes forward. Lovely. Good. You counting them? Because I'm Ten. not. Just like the DVDs, like workouts, I ain't counting. Uh, I get lost. So I'm back over to the tonal here. And, uh, geez, dude, you moved that 45 like it was nothing. It wasn't bad. Yeah, but you're, you're strong that way. I'm going to try this weight. I'm trying not to embarrass myself. Here we go. You got this. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Yeah. What about the easiest pie? Mm. For a gluten-free high fiber pie? Gluten-free, flourless chocolate pie. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Is that six, I hope? That's seven. Oh, good. But you probably got credit for the pulling it out from the Damn start. Mm. Little squeeze out there. Mm. Two more then? Yep. Mm. Because I'm trying to stabilize, I feel it. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Broke it out. It came out. How, well, how long into this workout are we? Yep, yep. Uh, usually, Curran and I will pull up the shirts multiple times before. Let's go. All right. And then get that. Like to waving, feet. waving. Tony, did you wave to me? Curran. What are you doing? There's Brian. 
Look, Tony, if you do what I say, you can have one of those. I think Garrett's already got one. Oh, Missy's in here. How lovely. There goes Brian. Let's zoom in on his muscularity. Let's see that arm. There it is. There's the face. That's 12. You want to do 15 because you're so flipping strong? Nice, dude. Really good. Okay. Got warm in here. I think it's us. It's much warmer here than it is outside. I'm hydrating with Italian sparkling water. Oh, you are so trendy. It's amazing. Now these, can you all see me? Yeah, these are. We started on curls, right? So we still have, started on curls? Yeah, this is the last curls. And Jeez, last... you're all puffed up. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess so, I got a giant vein. Where is look at that? that thing. If, if Vache is watching, Vache, you'll have those by May. Our friend Vache, his goal is to have the bicep vein and a six pack by his birthday, which is mid May. And he's he, almost there. You better get off the uh, Armenian cuisine right away, or it ain't going to happen. <clears throat> oh, hello. All right, that's my baby arm. You can I guess you can show him. Oh, we'll go to the other That's arm. fine. No, no, you got to live in the real world. Here we go. Uh, Ten again. And so here's my strategy as Bugs Bounty. Here's that Elmer Fudd would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break them up in twos. After the two are done, you have a fresh start. It's all psychological. See what I'm saying? Here it goes. <clears throat> One. So obviously biceps here, but what else? Uh, brachialis for us. Yeah. Okay. Grip strength as well. Is that a trick? You're trying to trick me? No, no. So there's the next two. That's four. So I do two more. That's six. Five. Six. And then I have two more groups of two. Seven. Eight. And then the magical nine and ten. Nine, ten. No, nine, ten. Nine. Nine, ten. Ten. Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. That is a thing. Ooh. Ain't no thing about that being a thing, because that's a thing. All right. Okay. We're going to go... We're going to go ground level here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there we are. Maybe turn Let's... a little. Turn so a little. Have to stare at my. Oh yeah. Undercarriage. Yeah. All right. How's that? Is that good? Yeah. yeah. You're worried about undercarriage? Well, I don't want people to be like, "Ooh, gross." All right. I will stand here and silently judge, loudly judge. Yes. Okay. Is there? So obviously we're doing regular bicep curls. Yes. As opposed to hammer. Hammer curl. Right. Well, start with the hammer curl. You start to work on the brachialis. Yeah. And then as you turn and torque. That forces the bicep to move in a slightly different so way. So if you start this way. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah, but we're not doing that. No, we're not doing yeah. that. That way forces the bicep. It's all bicep. I mean, it's still forearm and, well, uh, and, and grip and everything else. Did you almost catch one? Yeah, I almost fell over. Oh. I'm going to blame the altitude. Yeah, looking good. Does this help? Can I go like that? Yeah. Well, what altitude are we at? What's that? What altitude are we at? What, what, what about? What altitude are we at? Oh, uh, we're about 6,500 feet. And it's okay. your first day. And it's yeah. my whatever. It's like my 10th day. Yeah. So you're working out. You could get a little loopy. You count those? I think that's 10. Good. I think you're ah. good. Hey, hey, hey. hey for Brian. All right, we're just going to slide these right back in their little slots. I don't know if you guys can see these things, but see how they go right in? Boom. Click, 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 click. So this goes all the way down to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 50. Wow. Boom. Cool, you right? They're really nice. They really are, man. And I, don't, and I paid for them full price. Nice. I don't have any deal with those people. So I'm going to turn here for Good the boy. triceps. Is that my 
There, there you go. Yeah, okay. I could tip it up a little. So you did 50, huh? Yeah. All right. Be careful there, because it might fall over again. No, that's pretty good. Is it? Oh, you got the top of the thing? Oh, okay, great. All right, 50. Whew. But I had right leg forward last time, I'm going to go left leg this time. And a one and a two, and this takes us to the halfway point. There you go. Two, three, right man, down the barrel. Lock in here. Four, five. This feels like it's gonna pull me right back. Six, maybe ten. Seven. You have strong triceps, right? What number is that? That's number eight. Nine. Mm. Ten. Very good. Very good. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, golly, golly. <laughs> yeah, air's thinner where we are. So. Thinner here. Thinner air. Thin. It takes you an extra second. Yeah. All right, last time I was left foot, I'm going back to right foot. All right. All right. You see. like that 50? Let's see if I can do more. Oh, what a show off. 55. Dude, strong man. Let's see. And so there's a lot of leverage required here? The way he's got to yeah, plant himself? Yeah, he me into the bedroom. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. Yeah, you come crashing back into the tunnel. Okay. Yeah, man, rock and roll. One, two. Yeah. Do a little pan up. Nice. Strong. Now, obviously, you know, the elbows are moving a little bit. We're not being super strict here with this motion, but his body's not moving around. But he gets a lot of extra work in the upper lat. You know, there's even some chest. This is a half pull, half push motion. That's thir 13, okay. 14. Well, I'll do 15. So that little combo is done. Woo, thank goodness. Done, done, done. Till your mama takes your T-bird away. Thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna do a crazy combo here. We're gonna do shoulder okay. and back again. Shoulder and back. So we're gonna do uh, shoulder with the tonal and back, back to the pull-up bar. Oh boy. All right? All right. Now here's what I like to do, because sometimes I forget it because I'm old. Um, one thing about the tonal is you can go to, and I'm not here to sell these things, right? It's a big, great piece of equipment. Obviously, they've been using me for ads lately, which I wasn't aware of, which is kind of nice, helping uh, promote the Horton on the tonal. So what I'll do is here, this is so, we'll come in here, change movement. So now I have it on manual. There's tons of programs and I have programs on it. So I'm going to go change movement and I'm going to hit shoulders. I think they're all going to come up. Let's see here. Ooh, this is one of our favorites. This reverse fly. I like that one a lot. And the bent over YT. Ooh. That one's oh, the Y pull. Let's do the Y pull because we never do the Y pull. Okay. So it's right there. And why that's great is because I already have the, I already have the, the rope here. Okay. All right, so that goes, everything changes. This goes all the way down here. Just like that. All right, so this will be, boy, sure as heck ain't using that weight. All right, so, get that off. Lighten the load by a lot, all right? Um, wide pulls and chin-ups. Boom, can you dig it? All right, so I'm gonna go first, Brian, with the wide pulls. Okay. You're gonna just kind of film this. So. <laughs> My wife is asking if I flew in and immediately started exercising. <laughs> I know. You know what Heather, Brian's wife, says about his physique and his determination <laughs> and his everything? Um, enough. Hey, Heather, here's a cool thing. So I go to this store to buy a, a shower head today. This girl, Carol, she works at Mountain Hardware. She's really great. She's an equestrian, and she jumps horses. She's really amazing. And I told her that Brian was in the car, and she, <laughs> she, she's been working out to Brian's. Brian, what's the name of your program on Power Nation? Uh, it's uh, Greatest Hits. It's Power for Greatest Four Hits. Greatest. And she loves it, and she's working out. So, so Brian had to go in and say hello and shake her hand, and she got all red in the face. And got I think I was the one getting red. No, it was her. But I also, once again, got a free hat. Yeah, she got a free, she got a free, free hat out of it. Here goes. Wide. And oh, up. this looks terrible. Oh, it is, dude. Oh, yeah, this is a lightweight move. 
can't you want to go ahead and lay your weights on us. Step forward a little bit. So, there. Mm. so it's a lot of traps. Front shoulder and up. Gosh. Yeah. That's, That's what's great. Seven. You just hit the button shoulders and it'll point everything out. That's pretty neat. Mm. What number is that? I hope it's like that 12. Was eight. One. Two. Yeah, take a breath. There's no air up here. And 12. Oh, I am not Dude, I am so this. glad I'm here doing this with you, man. I am not looking forward to this one. So everybody, I have this little setup here in my place. There was a really cool gym down the street here from where I live. And they, they tore it down. Wow. I'm right here. They tore it down. By the way, you can turn sideways a little bit. So, yeah, so people can see that. That way I won't get not. How's that weight? You have strong shoulders. So. Yeah, and that you, that's perfect. You're going way up. You don't even have to go that high. Go about yeah. two inches short of that. Yeah. Just worried about pinching nerves and things. Um, you could probably go heavier. I yeah. Think I think it's yeah. Yeah. Of course. I go heavier. See, Brian has an equal amount of push and pull strength. He's probably more of a push guy. I'm a more of a push. pull guy. Like I can do the pull-ups, the chin-ups, the ropes, and the ninja, but he can do it too. But his push strength is better. And you're what? What are you? Forty? How old are you? Uh, I don't know. 47. <laughs> 47. I think I just turned 47 in December. And then my age is the, is the reverse of those two numbers, 70, <laughs> 74. Or closer to that than you'd think. All right, so now the chin-ups, you're going to have to look at my back again. So, yeah, that's a good angle. You can, you can rotate that yeah. right over there. So we're past the halfway point. Kind of exciting. Here we go. I like that number 14. I'm going to stick with that. And good times ahead. So same thing, regular pull-ups. Chin-ups. Oh, chin-ups. Sorry, chin -ups. I wasn't listening. Did I say pull-ups? I'm going to say I don't know. I wasn't listening. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. So again, it's 14. I'm going to count those four and then the 10 in reverse, and that'll get me there. And I, I like chin-ups because it hits the biceps a little bit. You know, right? You're pulling. You can do that little pull there. That's kind of nice. It just hits the, every time you change your hand position, you know, you're strengthening all parts of your body in different ways. Which I and you like it when people cross their feet doing pull-ups, right? No! <laughs> Never! A horrible habit! If don't start that habit, don't get out of that habit. Because how many exercises do we do where we have to, we don't, our feet are out, or we uh -huh. have a chair do that? Sure. By the way, I'm going to change that. I'm going to call, call another audible. Okay. Uh, chair position chin-ups. Chair chins. Yeah, so our, my knees are up the whole time. My, I don't think 14 is going to happen. I'm going to try to get 10. Okay. All right? Um, I do it this way? Yeah, that's how I was doing it. All right. So you guys can see my knees, so you know I'm not cheating. I hit my head the other day on this. this oh, side. dear. Yeah, you know, because I'm not paying attention. Here we go. Knees are up. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's pretty. That's very pretty. Another two more. Yeah, 12? 12. Oh boy. Oh, I felt that in my loins. All right, I'm shooting for 10. Okay. That was harder, harder. Let's see the brio here. Yeah, so, hands, so if you Hands here about shoulder a little less? I'll go wider. A little wider? Yeah, 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 but inside that part. Yeah, there's good. Okay. I would say whatever's comfortable, really. Okay. So, the reason why I don't have like people crossing their feet is because, you know, you have to get into the habit of uncrossing them to be able to do moves like this. You counting those, dude, man? Yep. Waving. Doink. What number you on? That was nine. You doing ten? Ten. Oh! Get that chin up there. Get that chin up there. God, God, oh. oh, yes. Hearts, fire sticks, lots of hearts. Loving it. All right. Let's get back to our. Okay. Yeah, wherever you want to go with that. Well, I hope you're all enjoying this change of pace uh, from the usual Tony talks. Um. That weight was light for you, wasn't it? A little bit. So uh, just because, you know, we're mildly competitive. <laughs> here's the thing. Here's what, here's what we do when we work with other people. 
with friends is that there's this combination of mildly competitive while also being extraordinarily supportive. That's so true. We're always encouraging each other, inspiring each other. And then but one guy will look at the other guy's numbers and go, hey, am I pushing hard enough? Now, of course, form and function, always number one and two on the list. All right, you don't want to just be cheating your way through it so you can do more horrible reps compared to somebody else's great reps, right? So I've only moved up to, you know, you're fine. I'm going to go off on an angle. Okay. That's a great thing about this tonal. I can go this way, or I can go this way. So I'm going to go here for you guys and gals so you Perfect. can see it. Uh, here it is. That way I can glance over my numbers. Here we go. There it is, 20 pounds. It's not really pounds, though. Right, 20, level, more like level, level 20. Level 20, yeah. yeah. I'm going to move forward so I full range of motion yeah. here. Like putting imitation butter on a piece of sourdough bread. That would be me. On a piece of multi-grain barley bean fennel uh, millet vegan low glycemic. I mean, is there any bread in that? High bread? fiber. It's mostly sticks and stones. <laughs> sticks and stones. Okay. That, but I, by the way, I, I'd go heavier. Go to 22. Yeah. I think you can do it easy. Twenty two, let's try it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't have to go that high. Yeah, you're still a little bit too high. Shall we bent over? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but you're flat you're flat as an arrow here. Or whatever. Yeah, good. Alright. Nice man, really good. So this gal today, Carol, who was at the Mountain Hardware store. She's been doing your program and loves your program, works out to you. Um, what's it called again? Power of Four Greatest Hits. And this is 12. You got more than 12? Nope. <laughs> no, I don't. I feel that in my lower back. It feels like yeah, I'm yeah, using yeah. All but those... if your if your core is yeah. engaged and you're here nice and here to stabilize yep. it, right? Yep, yep. Whew. All right, so I'm moving on to my chair chin-ups. No, 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 no. Right here we go. Tony ain't talking as much today. Yeah, it's not a big Tony talk. It's just a Tony do. Tony do's. Tony toil. Tony. That's right. So we're 50, we're 56 minutes in, so we're going to be over an hour, but whatever. Oh, I didn't start my, my thing. Oh, no. And you're not even wearing yours. I'm not wearing mine. I don't yeah. wear it for weights that much, resistance no. that much. All right, here we go. Legs up. What did I do last time? 12? Yeah. That seems like too many. Yep. So... Four, four, and four. That's it. Four. Start again, four. Yep. Start again, four. And for anybody at home that's doing any kind of a movement and you set the number and you get to whatever that, we get to a number that's way short of that, you put the weights down, you come off the bar, you shake it out, you count to five, 10, 15, or 20, whatever feels right in your head, and then you get up there and you finish your number. Now, I might get to 10 and go, oh gosh. For me, it's comfortable for me to hang. For a lot of other people, that hang thing is a bear. So you let go of the bar, you come down. Yeah, we smoke a lot of cigarettes smoke in here. Smoke a Marlboro. <laughs> grab yourself a double cheese chimichanga, and then you get right back up there. Or you don't do those two things I just mentioned, and you just come down and you go back. Here we go. Four, 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 Brian. Here we go. Come, everybody at home. I'm going to put my feet, feet together. My, my bottom of my shoe should be parallel to the floor. Three, two, one. Go. Look at that. First four. That is so hard. Second four. You could put like a serving platter on that. Good. On your, on your lap. Three. Look, you could just put your cocktail right there. Oh! <laughs> hey, Brian, get, get, some, get a shot of this here. Here it is. What's this move called? This is called a supine sleeper. <laughs> the three stooges have entered the workout. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
All right. I went over the camera for you, but I... That's okay. It's too heavy. I don't feel good. It's too heavy. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Here we go. Burn out of the way. Yep. Out of the way. Your brand new hat. It fits you perfectly. Feet are together. Feet are together. Knees are up. One. Your knees are even higher than mine, too, which is impressive. Three. If you came lower in those chin-ups, four, but... I know five. Good, dude. Six. Your arms are massive. Seven. A beard bigger than Stephen Clark's. Eight. What? Nine. Chin over the bar. Chin over the bar. Chin over the bar. Ten. That's far up there. Oh, that's it. Nice. Let me count to five. Oh, four, three, two. Oh, way to take that to heart and do it. And 11 and 12. So, everybody who's watching, I don't know if you watch much TV, but if you watch any TV whatsoever on every channel, especially football sports, our good friend Andrew Hawtrey uh, has a Verizon commercial. How would you describe that commercial? That he's in? It's, uh, it's great. He's a very dramatic dad. Yeah. Right? According to what and by the way, are you see how they're cutting it in a different commercial? Oh, yeah. It, it's, it, before, initially, it was just one ad. It ran and ran and ran and ran. And now they're cutting it. It's almost as if when they shot it, they must have done a lot of fun improv stuff. Yeah. And so Brian, for a while, was on a commercial. It was Alexis. Alexis. Ran. That's all I ever saw. Boom. And then Nick Cafaro, Lowe's. many of you know, was on a Lowe's ad. It's still running today. Who's he on there with? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the running back for the 49ers. Yeah. Oh, God. Look yeah. at us. Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> right. We don't know a football player's right. name. And then Tony Curran, who might still be here or not, his, uh, his TV series that he won, uh, a ba what do you want, a BAFTA award? BAFTA. Uh, the ads for that, that little miniseries is on. So you know how weird That's it is? That's on uh, Amazon? Uh, Tony, what's it on? You still I think there? it's on Amazon. It's called Mayflies. Mayflies. It's really very good. It made good. my wife cry. Three times. I cried twice. I didn't cry. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> um, That's great. But you know what's so weird? Like, four people that I know are, on te are all on television at the same time. Yeah. Oh, and then there's Kevin, Kevin Mims. Yeah, Jake. Jake State Farm. Don't call him. When you see Kevin, don't call him Jake, please. But he doesn't want to be called Jake. He doesn't. That's not his name. But you Jake know, the, Kevin. as long as the check's clear, he's okay with yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You did 22 here, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to try to do 22, I'm going to try to do 8 at 22, all right? Okay. Here we go. I'm not a fan of this, but here we go. Okay. Two. I'm not bent over quite as much as you. No. Four, but I'm still hitting the move here. Five, stepping forward. I'm going to, I'm going to bend over a little less. To see yeah, I might not hurt your back. Ease up some of my, up some of my back. What number is that? That is number seven. Eight. Number eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. And done. Which I was going to go back to the supine sleepers. <laughs> it's the thin air. It's the... It's very thin. Whew. Here I am. Hi. Hi. Goodbye. See if I can do 25. Oh, you beast mode. All right. I'll be this guy on the ground. All right, so how many reps at 25? I'm going to try to do 10. Good for you, dude. But if I stop at 8, I meant to. <laughs> All right. We started here, so we still have the chair chin-ups, don't we? Yeah. Good glory. Yeah. Good. So how wide are my feet here? Is this about right? Yeah, I like that. All right, great. Yeah, you, you want to bend over just enough so the cable doesn't hit you in the center of your body. Right. It's a subtle way to put it, but yeah. Right, okay. Right. Nice. It's great. <laughs> and there she is, just like that. Uh, yeah. She, don't don't go quite that high. Though. Right. Yeah. I think you're going too high. Too high. Too high. You can because you're, you're you're fit and mobile, but that's eight. Oh At man. Five, dude. That's amazing. Wee. Good uh, Lord. Nicely done. <gasps> All right, so I'm back over there. And uh, oh, here we, go. we started with it. Yeah, okay. 
this is a little discouraging knowing I gotta go do this again. But so everybody, here's your tip of the day. Okay. Okay. What's that from? Okay. I forget. I, I, uh, I, cartoon. I, I recognize it, but really, I don't know the reference. Really reverend. Mkai. Uh, South Park. Okay, sure. South Park. Mkai. Um, I'm gassed, right? I'm live. We're kind of making sure our form is good so we don't... We usually take a little bit more time in between because we're very social with our workouts. Like right now, you know, it'd be, Kern would be telling some story about something that he did and we'd all be fascinated and, and frightened by whatever he was saying. Uh, but it's very entertaining as per usual. And so if you get to this point where you feel like, man, I'm out of steam, you know, don't get hung up on the numbers because your form could go south and you could get hurt and nauseous and all that kind of stuff. It's not about pushing yourself so hard so that you feel miserable later. You should feel kind of energized and feeling good. I mean, worked, but feeling good. So I might not do 12, I might do 10. And I, when I hang there, I'll make a decision or I'll do what Brian did and come down and do a couple more. So when the knee's up like this in the chair position, it's tough. Tough, tough, tough. Really, really tough. I feel like I got like a Chad Smith thing going on here, like the, the drummer from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, totally. I look like him. Yeah, man. Okay. Here goes. What's your number, 12? Maybe. Is that what we said? We said, or 10? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to put 12 in my hand, and my okay. stomach 10 have to come down a little. All right. I'm gonna, my arms are almost straight at the bottom, yeah? I'm going to drift off camera and yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Yeah, your arms are straight at the bottom. Two groups of four. One, two, three. Oh, I got the wink. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised I, you know, whatever. Blood, oxygen flowing in all the right places. All right, right, right. I'll get out of your way. Hey, okay. okay. What's your number, Daddy? Oh, last time you had these. Try to do the 12. Yep. If I get to 10 and stop, I'll just take, I'll take a five count. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Three, four. Knees way up there. Good. One, two, three, eight. You got four. Ah. Down and three. <laughs> Five count, five count, five count. Five, four, three, two. You got three at technically three. One, down, two. Yeah, get that chin up, good. Good. Get up, get up, get up. Good enough, you're working too hard. Man, so nice. That's 12, that's tough to get 12. So, you know, what I try to do when I'm, you know, in the house, I don't have a program. I'm not following myself. I don't really follow other trainers so much. Uh, you know, I just do my own thing because I have a repertoire of hundreds of moves in my head. And I like goofy combinations that I don't do very often. For example, have we ever done those two exercises back to back? Not that I recall. Ever, right? Nope. So, variety is the spice of fitness. Muscle confusion, whatever you want to call it, which is a made-up term. Don't get uptight. People are trying to turn it scientific. I'm seeing it in, like... Fitness journals now about muscle confusion. Billy Idol used to call me Muscle Confucius. And then... Uh, That's very clever. The, the CEO of Beachbody thought that was fun. And we figured, oh, well, we're kind of confusing things, and I still do that. It's the reason why we're strong. Yeah. And we're not hurt, okay? It's how you avoid, so, like, a plateau, right? Or like correct a, a mundo. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to do four ball push-ups and a tricep move. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm going to go to the uh, magic uh, magic mirror on the wall. Okay, I'll get these weights out of the way. Yeah, so move everything and set up the four balls in the position where everybody can see us. Probably the ground is pretty good. So everybody, I'm going to go to the change movement, and I'm going to hit the triceps. And it's kind of like a spin the wheel kind of thing, right? So shoulders off, triceps on. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. How are you oh. doing this without a sip of water? Um, I don't know. I, I had a big gulp before. Ooh. And I could, I could, I am a little dry, but whatever, it's all good. Ugh. So. Those are nice, uh, 
No, these are really nice. These are really nice paint rollers. Uh, wow. Let's see. I'm, here's what I'm going to do. It's going to take a little setup time, but I like it a lot. So this arm comes back out and up and over. This one goes up. Wait a minute. I'm going to go up one, all the way down, and up, and up. And take this the handle off. Douche. <laughs> what could this possibly be? I just want to look at the. Uh, I think I. Uh, I think I go all the way down. Yeah, and these lower as well. And the bench is going to be part. So this is going to isolate like crazy on our triceps. It will start here. All right. Um, all right, bra dry. Weight-wise, ha, 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 I don't know. Okay, everybody, so I'm going to start right here on the triceps. Mm-hmm. Okay. I might even go lower. I'm going to get a little distance here to get a full view. So you got a bench, and the arms are all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then my weight is off. No weight. No, no weight yet. So no weight. So what's kind of cool about the tonal is I can turn all the weight off. So Brian Goldstein, if you're watching, we all know Brian. He's a he's an FBI man. That's right. Works works for America. And uh, he had a few. He when I met him, he wasn't a P90X fan, but he was a big tonal fan because he was able to use the tonal as a means to deal with his frozen shoulders. So he could get his body in certain positions without having to lift heavy weights first. And then he, once he was in position, like you'll see me, he sets the weight and then he can go. And then when he's vulnerable at the end of a movement, he could turn the weight off again and not hurt that shoulder. So, uh, and then everything is in, is in increments of one. You can go one, two, three, four, as opposed to a lot of weights, five, 10, 15, 20, right? So here we go. I'm in this position. I like my weights up and down. I hope I picked the right number. Weight is on. So I'm going to go oh. straight up. Okay. So unlike the other tricep movement that we did, a lot of momentum, standing nice and tall. I'll need to lift my legs up. This is one place where I'll let you cross your legs. That way my low back is into the bench. And I'll bring the weights right down to my temples and straight up again like I'm punching the ceiling. This is weights a little bit lighter. I didn't want to, have to embarrass myself and take something too heavy. So I'll probably do 15 reps here. What's that, Brian? That's number nine. Nine. You know, I can see it. And this just mm, isolation. Oh, this is a great move. Well, 13. Mm. Mm. Now, see, I'm here. Weight's off. Oh. Da, 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 right? Easy peasy. I come back up, I slide back. You're guaranteed not to smash your face. You're guaranteed not to smash your face. Now, knowing. Where's that camera? Oh, hi. Knowing you and your triceps, dude, I'm moving that way up. Oh, boy. I'm going to go to... 22s. I think you can do 22 easy. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have to flip the hat around. So oh, yeah. Where are you? There you are. Okay. I don't know what that is, but what happened there? There we go. All right, so I will lay down. Lay down. Punch the sky. Out right here? Yep. Set the weight. And then right. elbows in one spot. Right by your ears and up. Yeah. Oh, I can feel my lower back come up when I put my legs down. Yeah, right? That's where you want it, though. Everybody see his triceps here? Look at those things. Good Lord. Good dush, dude. That's eight. What's your plan here? Twelve. Good work. Yeah, see how his elbows are barely moving? Look. They're barely moving, oh, which is nice. And when you put when your arms are straight, hit the button so you don't have to deal with it. What's that? Twelve? It's twelve. There you go, Bubba. 
Oh, this is a nice stretch too. Yeah. So now, back on the oh, floor. Balls. There are the balls. Mm-hmm. I'll put two, okay. two up here, two there. Now, the classic four ball push-up. I don't know if you want to set that camera for me, but again, so many people struggle with this move. Now, we've got, we're doing it on a carpet, which makes it a little bit easier, all right? If you want to make four ball push-ups hard, get four bowling balls and do it in a, in a bowling alley. Mm -hmm. That's about as tricky as you can get. So, I'm going to put two hands and one foot, the ball of my foot, on one of the balls in the back. And I'm going to take the other foot and I'm going to put it on the floor next to the fourth ball. And then I'm going to experiment, and do not experiment with this until everything is straight, head to heels. Okay, so I don't know if everybody can see me here. Mm -hmm. All right, so a lot of people try to start, see my booty's way in the air here? It's just impossible. So you want to be straight. Arms are straight. So this ball of foot, it's not the tiptoe, it's not the arch, it's not the heel, it's the ball of the foot. That's really important, everybody. All right, so Tony's talking now. Now, I'm in position, but this foot that's not on a ball is helping me find my balance. I lift it up to see if everything is where I want it. My quads, my core, and my glutes are all mildly engaged. And then once you feel like you're here, you can add the other ball. All right, now depth, might not come. This proprioception of this balance work will decrease your, your reps. I'm going to try to get 20. I'm pretty gassed. It's the end of the workout. Here it goes. 20, jeez. Two, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, and an extra. Oh, two extra. 22. Oh boy. Ah! 22 is a bad number. It's a good number. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, okay. Okay. I'm here for moral support, dude. All right, so get your hands on and one foot. Yeah, get nice and square there. Brian's got great balance. One, two, nice. Three, four, I like his range of motion. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, look at the speed. Two, really good. Three, get him over with. Four, five, six, straight as an arrow. Seven, uh-oh, eight, nine, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I you lose balance or you just be a, being a hot dog? I did. I, just, I waited too long and then lost my balance. So that's 20, 20 sets, 20 exercise sessions, things. So now, here come the triceps again. And then once I finish this, we're halfway through this last batch. And then we're all done. So now you're getting a sense of how we look and how fit we are and how crazy we are and how important this is for us. How heavy we breathe. Yeah. At altitude at 6,500 feet <gasps> into the sky. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're back to these. Yep. You, oh. had, you had this at what way? 22. It was hard for me. This is, uh, it was hard I'm for me. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go 19. That's a good number. 19. Because I want my 12 reps. I'm going to go to this side now. All right. There we go. So again, no weight at all. Really easy. And once I get in position, I want to make sure that my cables are relatively straight up and down. Right? So I'm here. And I'm going to know once my arms are in the air. I look, and I kind of like where that is. Weight is on. Here it goes. I don't want the elbows to flare too much. Seven, there's an angle. Eight. Nine. Ten. Mm. Man, they were easy up to like ten, then yeah. they weren't anymore. Mm. 
Now again, click weights off. Simply do that day. Brian? Yes, sir. This is where I get water. Yes. Hi, right, everybody. I'm not going very far. I will be right back, but I am thirsty. I'm when my mouth is as dry, it means I needed the water, so. Brian, it's all you, buddy. I'm going to 20, because that last one was hard. Okay. All right. Sorry. See you, Brian. It's all yours. I'm going to put it down to 10. No, I'm not. I'm not going to put it down to 10, because he would know. Somehow, he would know that I lowered it to 10. I think he has it on his watch or in his ear I or something. I can hear you. See, he can hear me. Okay. Let's see. So you're not staring at my knees the whole time. Let's go right there. Okay. Oh, to the, how many people? To the, to the nine people left watching. Oh, thanks for your support. One. And two. No, wait. Here we go. These are very hard. I find it difficult to keep my arms fully stable for this. They want to just... Buckle out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. a hard one up here my elbows want to go out instead of going like this they want to go out I gotta keep them in Whoa. all right I, go? I did 50 reps you did 50 reps you at uh, 50 pounds You're a liar. I did the old 50 50 no, that's not true no that's true no that's true now it's my turn to get a little mm. oh, I'll be back. okay I'll be here So, while Brian's gone, I'm going to promote a couple things. Hope that's okay. If you guys want to leave because of it, I understand. But these are the things that keep me going, keep me alive at 65. Stay alive at 65. I'm going to thrive because I'm alive like a beehive. Anyway. So, uh, if you want to know more about the tonal, go to tonal.com. Tell them Tony sent you. There's one promotion. And right now, I went up and I put some of that in my beverage. That's Replenish. Uh, it's a, the flavor is a, a citrus burst. Essential electrolytes. Beta power natural. Um, can't even read. I'm so blind. Uh, betaine and improved hydration and performance. Which is what I'm going to need here for these last ones. <clears throat> and it's right in here, and it tastes lovely. It's a little bit fizzy as well. Mm. I guess time is up, right? How many, how many four balls did Ryan do? Did he do? He did, how many did you do? 25 or 26? Uh, the 26 one I didn't really finish. Oh, okay, good. So that means I'm doing 26. So here's that mild competitiveness while Brian supports me along the way. And so it happens a lot of times. You find yourselves in these situations where, you know, maybe you haven't been to a certain place, a level of fitness or speed or strength or balance or something. And it's a little bit scary because maybe you're in your 30s, 40s, or 50s and haven't been there before. But, you know, you have some mileage under you. You have some expertise. You've had some experience. And so then you have to make a decision. And so Brian's number of 25 plus a 26 that wasn't so great just sort of sets me up for something different. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get past my 22 and after that, I don't know. Right? But if he wasn't here, I would have just done the 22 and called it a day. But he's here, mm -hmm. and he did 25. It's like on Sundays, mm -hmm. when we go one at a time at the Sunday, Sunday Ninja workout, yeah. the first guy kind of sets, sets the tone. bar, yeah. and then everybody that goes after him has a number to shoot for, and invariably the number goes up 
because the first person who goes doesn't really know doesn't what really know. is. And all the movements are so different. The sequence is different. Yeah. Different rules. Sometimes they're timed. And then sometimes we'll put a yoga block here so you have to t touch your, touch your t chest on the four ball. I mean, it's always different. But, but you always try to do more than the guy before you. Yeah. Not out of some, like, it's not crazy competitive, but just because that's how you push yourself. Yeah. Twenty-six clean. Yeah, it's a bummer. I shouldn't have done that. No, you did. Okay. Just count to a six and a half twice. Yeah. So, Two, four times. Three, four, five, six, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seven. Look at this guy. Eighteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Straight with an arrow back here. And ten, and nine, and tense, eight, and tense, seven. Tense. Everything from here down is tense. In, 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 two, twenty six. Gonna do it. Twenty seven, twenty eight. He's doing thirty. That's how you do that. Thirty. I am not doing thirty. Well, don't say I'm not until you try. Okay, but I'm not. Okay, I get it. What's this one? That's the replenish. Oh, good. That's why I was able to do 30. Oh. Correct. Oh, I just plain old stupid water. Put that right there in the foreground so you know. There it is. Oh, mypowerlife.com. Use the Tony30 discount code. T, capital T, O N Y, 30 no spaces. That's for Tony Curran, right? That's what it's no, called. That no, no, Curran has to pay double. Oh, okay. He's a big TV star now. That's right. When he puts it in, it's double the price. That's right. So what is your number just for? I mean, I gotta shoot for 30. Oh my goodness. I gotta. So let's break these up in three groups of 10. Okay. All right, just get them over with. Okay. I'm gonna count down three times, ready? Okay. Then I'm gonna add one. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done. Again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, nice speed. Ten, nine, eight, half inch deep, deeper, seven, six, good, five, good adjustment. Four, three, two, thirty, and I feel like there's gonna be more. Thirty-one. Oh god. Thirty-two. What? We got another round, right? Yes we do. Shoot. All right, without further delay, you can uh all the fire, 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 fire. Uh fire, fire's in my Sleeves right now. Fire. I'm gonna wave, wave. Hi. We got 22 down and two to go. How long have we been in here? Three hours? Yep. It's been uh, three hours and 48 minutes. I don't oh, know. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna make some gluten free pasta with some uh, vegan tomato sauce. I know it sounds horrible, but if you, if you find the right people who can make these things taste good, then. Why not? As opposed to the stuff. Look at Mr. Stretchmore, if you could see Brian right now. All right, what did you have on there? You had 20 on the triceps? Yeah. I'm going to try that too. What did I have? 19 last time? I can do 20. That's the big thing. I went from 22 down to 20. Oh. And I went 18, 19, went this would be 20. 20. Yeah. Dude, your arms are massive. <laughs> you got veins inside your veins. Okay, here we go. Mm. Cables are straight. Weight is on. Oops. They start off easy. They yeah, they do. Six. Here we go. Halfway. pause for a bit, it'll recognize that and start to spot you. So if I had held that at the top or I had really started to shake and struggle, it would, the number would have dropped from 20 to 19 to 18 oh, to 17. Until you can do it. So that you can finish so you don't, you know, with a, with a dumbbell or a barbell, 
it's don't smash your face or somebody come over here and get this off my throat. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, Yeah, that's cool. And you guys can hear how smooth it is. It's crazy smooth. This model here is a newer model than the one I have at home. And it's just like Brian, right? The one at home is great. It's yeah. just, but it's not, it's a little bit. Not quite, as, not quite as uh, smooth and tight as yeah. this. So folks at home, um, you know, whatever you want to upgrade the one at my house, the other house, I'll let you know. Yeah. Hit those waves, one, two, three. You know how to do that? Wave, wave, wave. wave, wave. wave. You're up, buddy boy. All right. And I'm gonna, yeah, By the way, just so you know, people in the chat are actually talking to Tony Curran. Are they? Tell him how good he was in movies. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, 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 good. he's an okay actor. Oh, 20. I'm leaving it at 20. Yeah, he's okay. Makes my wife cry. He's no Carrie Elwes, but he's okay. Yeah. Flight of the Phoenix, you guys. You should see him in that. Okay. Flight of the Phoenix and... is good. Uh, that bench probably could be closer to the tonal, but I think you're okay. As long as your head's not hanging off the end. There you go. And yeah, I guess once you get your elbows How's in the position. That's... I like it. All I'll... right. Yeah. Okay. Rock Can I just roll. do it without the weight? Nope. Oh, but it would be so much easier. I know, but nothing would happen until you got to like the... Now, sometimes we alternate on like shoulder presses or... Mm. Is this something we could alternate on? Let's see what happens. Yeah, baby. You picked it. Nice. So you see you see how he's alternating like that? That means that tricep on the arm that he's holding is just getting so much more recruitment than if it was just going up and down, which is really psycho. That's nine. Dude. Oh, my God. I stop doing the alternating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And then he did a switcheroo in the middle, even though he's probably not going to get more than three reps of this. Ah! Has gone. Yeah, turn that weight off first before you bring him down. Yeah. Okay, well. So we have one more exercise, and oh. I'm not going to do 32. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do 30, and I did. Jeez, dude. What are we doing? Trying to show off in front of everybody. Yeah. Brought to you by Replenish. Will you hand me my Replenish bottle of water and Replenish? <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes, I'm just going to eat this with a spoon. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the cinnamon challenge. You know the cinnamon challenge? No. Oh, I got to hit my... Oh. Can you imagine if you had to hit that? Mm. I think your shoulders would pop out. No. Okay, buddy boy. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. We're not usually this competitive on a Tuesday. <laughs> but I guess because y'all are watching probably the reason why how many people are watching right now like two what's the number we're at nine nine we're yeah. down to nine slight slightly falling off i'm not surprised um it's okay though nine hearty souls how deep is that down there super deep i was mostly putting 30 get it in the frame mm. i'm gonna do i'm gonna do 15 that deep unless okay. it really really hurts my shoulders yeah then i won't do it okay I mean, that'll just be supersonic muscle recruitment. <laughs> but, you know, if the shoulders hurt, if there's pinching and nerve damage, I'm not going to do just it. Just don't do it, yeah. Yeah. I might go here. Okay, here goes. Oh, my goodness, that's far down there. Oh, that is far. It's okay on the shoulders? Four, so far, yeah. Okay, first five are done. Two, three. Those are picture perfect. I'm gonna do five more. Try. Okay. Picture perfect. One, two, straight as an arrow. Three. Well, we're back up to 12 people. Word got out that you were doing this. Uh, ah! Yeah. That was obnoxious. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, lots of fire. Lots of fire icons. Oh icons. my gosh. Emoticons. Emoji. Over here vomiting in my mouth. Fire and hearts. Fire and hearts. That's Dude, my favorite. By the way, if you feel pinchy pinch. Yeah. Stop. I will. But we're so warm now. I mean, there's. Our blood and our muscles and our tendons. Where was it hitting you? I hit me here. 
Like right, right in my the, sternum. Right in the sternum. Okay. Like, the, but like, take your two nipples. My nipples are very weirdly off center. Like one's here and one's oh, here. Oh well, so. that's that's uh, TMI. That's too much. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, right, right here. Okay. All right. And be careful. Don't fly down. Control it so you can feel like the one, one, two, three. Look at that. Four. Five, excellent dude. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Oh boy. Don't forget to hit it. Two. <sighs> Control it on the way down though. There you go. Three. <sighs> four. <sighs> do sixteen. Just beat me by one. Fifteen. <sighs> strong like bull. And tap and come up. Nice and control. No pain. No, no gain. Or a little bit. Ah, yeah. Sixteen. That was a good work. Brian Palatucci, I adore you, my brother. And I you. Folks, if you think it's fun working out with Tony on the videos, mm. it is a thousand times more fun working out with him in person. Or, or horrible. He is, as advertised, a blast. Thank you, man. Thank you. I, I appreciate Whew. that a lot. Um, Looks like we just worked out. What do you think? I don't know. How's that? Okay. There it is. Let's go fill that with some to... tapioca flour pasta. Uh, exactly right. Well, everybody, I hope you liked the change tonight. Brian, I, I, uh, I do appreciate you. We're going to have a, by the time we eat this meal, it'll be 8.30 our right. time, but whatever. <laughs> um, Thank you for having me. Yeah. Again. Appreciate it. You're a good pal and a good friend. People to find you on Power Nation. Where would they go? What would they do? And in, in, a, in a sentence or two, what would they find? Right, so they would be looking for the Greatest Hits, uh, the Power 4 Greatest Hits Remix Workout, mm -hmm. which uh, is a high-intensity interval training workout. I took moves from all of the original Power 4 workout routines. I pick, picked and choosed, took my favorites, and I made it into a high-intensity interval training workout. So every workout's about 40 minutes. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, right through. And there are stop options? There are stop if options. If you want them? Yep, there's a chest and back, shoulders and arms, there's a plyo, there's a core, we got it all. And where the variety kicks in uh, is with the fact that you have all these different moves from all the different programs in the Power 4, which is my program, but he picked his favorites, so the sequences will be different, the rep counts will be different, his cueing will be his and not mine, and so you get a new perspective, which is really awesome. And you need almost no equipment, mm -hmm. so you can do it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And again, if you're interested in the tonaltonal.com, uh, mypowerlife.com for the supplements, and then use the Tony30 discount code to save some bread. Also, if you buy in bulk, you'll save even more money. So that's it, everybody. Uh, we're going to go lay down. Yep. Because uh, that worked. Thank you all very much. We'll see you next time.